Ah, <sighs> the tech community, huh? It's amazing. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. It's passionate. Half of it is great. And the other half... Well, the other half's a total f***ing dumpster fire. Chapter 1. Validating Opinions. Let's be honest here. 90% of tech viewers, not all of you, but 90%, uh, do not go into a video with an open mind, just ready and willing to hear the opinions of other like-minded people. No, no. You have your minds made up before you even click on the video. Tech creators have become less like tastemakers and instead now more like vehicles. We are the ammo that the viewers use to fuel their arguments. The viewers, they don't care what we say, they just need us to validate their opinions, to make them feel okay about a purchase that they have already made or are about to make. And get this, if you don't validate their opinion, you don't just have a different view on things, no. You're just f***ing wrong. Trustworthy and unbiased have somehow become, oh, he said the thing that I think. He said bad things about the company that I hate. Thanks for finally being honest and telling us the truth. If for some reason I don't end up saying the thing that the viewer wanted to hear from me or if I don't feel the same way that they feel, all respect is lost. It's thrown out the window. Suddenly I am a liar. I am a sheep. I am an apologist. That one's my favorite one. Hey, you know what another word is for people who refuse to hear any other opinions that don't uh, validate theirs? A sheep. Chapter 2. Personal Identity. For way too many people in the tech community, these aren't just products, these aren't just brands. You have this so wrapped up into who you are, it is in your core. It's your identity. You are so wrapped up in your favorite brands and favorite products that when someone does share a different opinion and you hear it, it hurts you. Like the f***ing iPhone is your sister and when anyone says anything negative about the phone, it's the equivalent to someone walking up and shitting directly into your sister's mouth. Fun fact, uh, and this might be hard for some of you, the brands and the products don't care about you like you care about them. Stop being so loyal. Stop going to bat for these things. Chapter 3. Indirect Praise. Oh, I love this one. Shocker. Not everything is sunshine and rainbows in tech. There are things that I might not like or that I personally have a problem with. And I'll do that thing where... I will voice my opinion. If I point out a problem or make a valid argument, instead of acknowledging that perfectly valid argument, it is some people's very first instinct to try to completely neutralize my opinion and instead point fingers somewhere else. Hey, internet, if I say something negative about the iPhone, notice that I was talking about the iPhone, I never mentioned Samsung, so why in the f when I mentioned the iPhone, do you think that in some way I am indirectly praising Samsung in the same sentence? And vice versa, right? If I say something positive about Samsung, try your best not to take your little fingers down to the comment section just to yell. But, but the iPhone, the iPhone sucks. You're such a, you're such a sheep. Do me a favor, f***ing spare me. Chapter 4. Good ol' isolated geniuses. For some reason, this is such a hard concept for some people to grasp, but get this, there is a whole consumer market completely outside of these comment sections. In fact, the people like us, the people watching the videos, the people sitting in the comment sections, the people arguing over this tech bullshit, we are completely and disproportionately outnumbered by the other people the average consumer. And I don't care if that term somehow pisses you off, because it's true. Tech is not just isolated to us, the people that think they know it inside and out. We are surrounded by it. Everyone has a device in their pocket. The vast majority of people buying tech, they don't give a shit 
about the specs or the resolution, the gigabytes or the pixel density. If I was wrong about that and the specs mattered as much as you think they do, the Galaxy Note 9 would be the best selling phone in history. But that is never the case, is it? Because there is one thing that matters way more than specs. One thing that literally everyone understands user experience. The value for each and every product is greater than the sum of its parts. I get it. There are some of you that are completely laser focused on value for money. What specs can I get for them dollar dollar bills? But the rest of the planet is not. So when people are willing to pay money for stuff that you don't think is worth it, before you jump down to the comment sections with all your answers, just think for a second and realize that the consumer market is not boiled down to the subscribers of some YouTubers tech channel because the people that the majority of these products are made for aren't in the comment sections, buddy. Chapter five, mine's fine for some reason, for some awful stupid reason. If your favorite creator points out an issue, a problem that they had with a device that they were reviewing or Better yet, better example, if I'm reporting in front page tech about some sort of problem that users were experiencing with a certain device, it never fails. Look at the comment section. You will for sure see someone down there going, well, mine's fine, so there isn't a problem, obviously. Defective unit. Oh, okay. Never mind everybody else because Jacob's phone is totally fine. False alarm. Something I've been saying for a long time now is just because you do not see the problem does not mean that the problem doesn't exist. For the people in the back. Just because you do not see the problem does not mean the problem doesn't exist. Chapter six, good versus evil. This is something that has been really getting out of hand lately. Like there's no real discussions happening anymore. Tech, the devices we use, the opinions that we have, have started to become less about personal preference and are now becoming good versus evil. Do you know how f***ing lame that is? If you choose this product, you're f***ing stupid. You just don't know any better. In literally every single video that I post, if you go down to the comment section, there is inevitably people calling each other names, yelling personal attacks, and it's all over which device people like. To those people, real quick, just a question for you. Are you that much of a total bitch? in real life or is it just because you're a badass youtube commenter chapter seven the creators yeah you know all that stuff that i literally just said about the viewers creators have found a very clever way to take advantage of literally all of that now let me be clear real quick i am not innocent of this i'm sure i've done it before i'm putting this here so you the viewers can ask more questions. More and more, you're gonna find that each creator has their own narrative, and each video that they drop is simply just another piece to their puzzle. They target you. They use your emotions about the products that you love to get you to rally behind them, the creator, to make you feel like suddenly they are your mascot. Think about how many tech YouTubers say one thing and then turn around and do another. Think about how many of your favorite creators can put out a review and before you even click on it, you know what they're gonna say. It's predictable. You know what kind of creators I'm talking about, right? You knew what they were going to say because they already knew what they were going to say. They didn't go into that review with a completely open mind. I'll just get the product and we'll see how it goes. No, no. They knew what kind of video they wanted to make because they already felt a certain way about the product. They already felt a certain way about the brand. And now they're just going to use that review as a disguise as just another video that fits their narrative. There are just some creators that pick and choose what to tell you and only tell you the things that push their own agenda. They don't tell you the whole truth. And you know what? It, it works. It gets views. Viewers, do not let the creators transfer the burden 
on to you. Don't let them call you stupid or make you feel that way. You are not stupid or brainwashed for liking and buying certain products. Sure, some creators do a fantastic job at being able to hold brands accountable. And for the most part, that's our job as creators. But it's up to you, the viewers, to hold us accountable. Call them out. Oh, and creators, this isn't a Batman movie. This is not good versus evil. You don't need to save anybody or educate them to remove them from the grasp of any tech company. No one is brainwashed. In fact, none of this matters. The tech stuff, it's here today and gone tomorrow. So you aren't the voice of the voiceless. Calm your little balls down. Take your cape off.